Cheers, dear. Cheers. This is episode 007. Just want to call that out. Woo. Somebody had suggested to me that I should like dress up in a tuxedo or something. And, you know, James Bond, 007. It's 78 degrees outside. Uh-uh. Yeah, no, I'm wearing shorts. <laughs> Awkward. Woo. <laughs> anyway, so, so Rachel. Going with tea this morning. You, yeah, you're going with tea. I'm going with coffee. Per usual. And uh, you got a lot of pens here, dear. Yeah, well, you know, I was writing some notes last night. Um, you took a little picture of me. I had I some did. pens. I was thinking about Twisby, and I'm realizing I have a bunch of them. You and do. And I thought we could show off my little, I have several, actually, several, actually, several collections, actually, of different pens. Actually, you actually have several collections, <laughs> oh my gosh. actually. Um, so I didn't intend for this to happen. I don't remember which one was my first. Few of us ever intend for our collections to become what they are. I don't remember which one came first. It might have been purple. So mm -hmm. I like I got it in broad because broad doesn't it sells the worst for us generally. Yeah. And so we always have extras. So we sell out of everything else, and then we usually have broads that hang out. Yeah. So I snagged one. I'd never owned a Twisby before, but I felt like you know it's a color. I should. And. <laughs> <laughs> it's a color. Well, I mean, normally that's Twisby... how loose a justification needs to be. <laughs> no, I mean like, Twisby. You get it. It's a color. I mean, up until this point, for the most part, they did this solid color cap 580s. You know, they did the red and the green. Right. But for the most part, Twisby's just been all clear demonstrator. Yeah. So it's been the their, color, their scene. the colored yeah. accent was very. You that know, was pretty. That was pretty fresh. Well, they came out with the silver first, which I have right. one of those, and right. it's like. Barely but, noticeable. But it's a regular edition. Yeah. But then a special edition, I have a thing for special mm -hmm. edition pens. Got it. Oh, we all Loved do. it. So then when the next color came out, yeah. I'm like, okay, I'll get that too. And then the next, and then after a while, I'm like, I think I have a collection. I didn't intend to. It just happened. So these mm -hmm. are all the past 580 all special editions. or. It's all the past? It's not all. So I don't have one. That was a pun. I don't know if you caught that. Oh, oh, I thought you were making fun of me because I don't. Can y'all guess which one I don't have? Mm. I'll give you a hint. You probably can't tell. <laughs> it's this one because I have it. So orange and lava. Which one's which, Rachel? Exactly. I don't know. You know what I think happened is I, this my one's no, lava. no 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 no. Lava. You know what happened? No. Here's what happened. My original one was a medium because it's like I'll try medium. But then once I tried broad, I'm like, no, broad is the best. And you had, medium. and this is a broad. So this is the lava. That's the lava. Yeah, I gave you orange. Well, I have the orange. Yes, because that because the nib size. Yes. I wanted to have all broad. So these are all broad because I love broad. And you may notice I match my ink. Yeah, to... you totally do. This is like a rainbow. This is not a tinted demonstrator. Happening. This is my ink. This one's all crusted, <laughs> mm. as you can see, it needs to be cleaned. This episode is also going to be known as, hey, Brian, can you clean these ones? Because um, that's how we roll. I'm so bad at cleaning my pens that I have a wonderful so husband many, who does it for me. How many pens have you cleaned? I tried one once. In the once. nine years that we've been doing this. I tried one once. One. I one. didn't do a good job. One single pen has Rachel cleaned. I, I didn't do a good job, so you're just so much better you at it than me. <laughs> I was just going to say, you should use that line. Oh, that's so great. Yes. <laughs> that's marriage, right? Oh, that's right? classic. If you find, that's classic. you got to find yeah. someone who shares your love for yeah. the hobby. And You're going to be like one of those like infomercial black and white, like fumbling, cleaning the pens. I mean, pretty much. <laughs> I mean, yesterday, fun, my hands fun. finally washed, but like right at the end of the day, I was filling, oh, it was this pen. I was filling it with Syrah, and I... I, am t I don't know what I did. It has the Con 70. So what pen is this, Rachel? Because we have to talk about this. I know. I love this pen. This is, I think this is my favorite pen. This is a... Favorite of all your pens? I think it might be. Wow. And it's also sentimental. It is. Um, so this is the Namiki. Okay, I never remember the difference. Like custom impressions or just the impressions? It's the custom just, impressions. Because there's a bigger one, too. I think that one is just impression. Oh, shoot. Now you got me. I know. I have, I have one of the big up. ones. I think this is a custom. Okay, someone's gonna have to set us straight. Yes. Um. But but anyway, it's the medley. It's the medley. It has the con seventy, and I just I had trouble filling. I had Syrah all over my fingers, and then I had to go pick up my kids from school. I didn't have time to wash my hands to get any hand sanitizer. Looked like I had like bloody fingers, oh, and gosh. I so I was like trying to walk into school like. I think we've all been in that situation where we're like filling with a red ink or a pink ink or something oh, like that. Oh, it's and the it just worst. Looks precarious, but. This has the same nib as the like, custom seventy four. So, and it's basically. 
similarly shaped and stuff as a It's very custom similar 74. to that. Very similar. But they they don't celluloid. make this anymore. No, they um, don't. They've made that since the 90s, I think. And we got this when we visited the pilot uh, mm -hmm. warehouse. This is one of those back. like sweet hookups that we're able to get, you know, with our connections. Made it out of spare parts. Yeah. It's pretty so. cool. Anyway, I don't have a collection of these, although I wish I did, because there are oh a lot gosh. of pretty colors out there. I have a couple. Drew has a couple, too. Um, okay, we sorry. Might have the other, whole other... Is that the sentimental story? Well, that just, we went, just we that I got it. Just that I got it when we were when we traveled down there. Yeah, it's it the okay. It's not that sentimental, went. but you know what I mean. Like it's it, okay. It was a gift, and it was a it. gift. It was a meaningful gift. Um, I don't yet have a collection of ecos. <clears throat> I have most of them. I don't have all I, the I regular ones. Yeah, I didn't start early enough. I have the clear, I have the lime, I have the turquoise, I have the black and white. This was my first one, and I, I and as soon as I tried it, I was like, why didn't I try an eco sooner? Because I love it. I know. And it's, I mean, it's really similar to the 580. Yeah, we get asked that a lot. Like, is it worth getting an eco? If you have an eco, is it worth upgrading to a 580? And that just depends, you know. There's, there's a lot of similarities. I mean, they're both personally. Piston, they're... Personally, I'd say that there's nothing wrong with an eco. It's not like you're sacrificing by getting an eco. The design is a little bit different. Not everybody loves the hexagonal cap. Um, so there's that. The cool thing about the 580 is that it has removable nib units. So you can unscrew the whole grip section off the pen, and you can't do that on the Eco. The Eco doesn't have separate twi you know, nib units or anything like that. Because the pen is under $30, and you'd have to pay like $20 or $25 just to get the nib well units. So, pen. yeah, just get another pen. And so, yeah, there's some advantages there. But you can take them both apart. They're both really solid pens. So it's more aesthetic thing. So, you know, I think people like the, the 580 and they like the look of it. I personally think you should go with the 580 all if you're going to go with 580, just because it looks Yeah, cool. why not? It's yeah, it looks really $5 cool. more, but you get the color yeah. and the aluminum and, uh -huh. you know, even like the piston is, you know, the color. Yeah. Um, other things I have collections of, um, limited edition. This is going to be the Rachel piss everybody off <laughs> by pens they can't all get the anymore. All the things you can't have. Yes. Um, again, none of these things I intended to start out as collections. No. And if I had, I would have gotten more. Mm -hmm. But it's just things that happened over time. So this pink one was my very first vanishing point. I didn't use it for like four years mm -hmm. because we got so few of them. I kept, we kept one. Oh, this one. is like precious, This is precious like the stuff. one we kept. Like this technically would be in your collection. We had to like beg, borrow, and steal to even get any of these pens. Because yes. I think this was the first year This was the year first year we, we pilot and they allocate the limit editions based on, you based know, on previous, your previous year. Based on previous year's and sales. Like, and we were like, well, we, we weren't around last well, year. I'm like, we'll okay, we'll give, give you a couple. So we kept one of them mm -hmm. and it came in like that pink case that mm -hmm. I don't have anymore but um yeah it's got like a buckle on it and yeah like which yeah. I think is they cute. don't do that limited editions in those cases anymore I think that case is cute so this mm -hmm. technically is ours but I've been keeping it and it took me like four years to ink it up because I don't know why I don't know if I was, you didn't like, want to ink it up and then like... I was like Rachel they have removable nib units if I you know, ever want it to be it's... like pristine again we just put a new nib unit on it so this was my first and this one's a medium because I don't think I ever swapped out the nib you should totally swap it for a broad Rachel I know these are broads and then the Twilight, which I helped oh, yes. design. So You're that's special. I did, because I suggested the ombre in these colors. So that was really Everyone exciting. Everyone in the pen industry needs to learn that they should just listen to you when it comes <laughs> to colors, because for real. Rachel's like the pen whisperer when it comes to color selection. I choose all the Edison premieres. I've had a hand in a couple other yeah. things. I get to like weigh in on the premieres. The sparkles. I know. This right. one we have not been able to keep in stock this we year. Haven't. The Rodden Galaxy. Because, um, you know, it's made by the folks who do the Namiki <clears throat> Machier, because this is, you know, basically Machier work here, the, the Rodden. And um, they're backlogged, making all the stuff for their 100th anniversary later this year. Mm -hmm. So yeah. this is precious. And then the final thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the Pelican M600. Wipe off your keyboard now. Also, you also all in over broad. It. Yeah. Um, again, did not intend to start a collection. This one is actually a 620. It was a gift, um, and it, it, it was made like at least 10, 20 years ago. I don't mm -hmm. remember. Yeah. This is the is vibrant pretty. green, and this is the, um, the pink. So this is really similar to the new turquoise one that's coming mm -hmm. out next mm -hmm. month. It'll yeah, basically, basically look like this, what would but turquoise, turquoise instead of pink. pink. The, uh, similar case, too. Yeah. The thing I will say, being the one that cleans all nope. of Rachel's pens. Yep, see, it needs to be cleaned. Oh, it needs to be cleaned? Clean. Clean. Yep. All right, put Wait. it in the pile. I'll find one. The nice thing about Rachel's pens is... Oh, no. These are, like, most of these are piston, except for the vanishing oh, no. pens, obviously. I don't um, have anything inked up. Because she likes to match her inks to all of her pens... Oh, um, no. <laughs> I only have to... Oh, boy. 
Guess what Brian's gonna be doing tonight. <laughs> Thanks, dear. Is this gonna be like a, let's see what's inked up. There you oh, go. Oh, there we go. See, like, what do you, yeah, how do you choose what ink to put into your rotten? Because you could go with basically anything. What have you got in here? Yamabuto? Really? That looks pretty dark. They can turn it around. I'm thinking you're... Yeah, that's Yamabuto. It looks dark, though. I bet your ink is kind of dried up in your pen a little bit. I thought I filled it recently. Did you? Maybe I just haven't looked at Yamabuto in a while. I love Yamabuto. It's like a deep magenta color. It is a good color. I thought it popped a little bit more. There we go. I love Yamabuto. That's a good one. And then what is in here? Oh no. I think this used to have Kanpeki. Clearly we're not preparing one, much ahead of time for these I right know. now. We didn't this test all these one plans. should have oh no. Oh my gosh, Rachel. It had suit Suji. I'm gonna have to grab a whole case for these pens to bring home and clean. I don't I don't always match brands. I try yeah, that that's empty. That's empty. Yep. Okay. I don't, I, I'm not as strict about matching ink brands. I mean, sometimes I do, like if I can. No, it's about the color. Like this one, I have a bottle of the Adelstein Tourmaline that I fill that with. That is your jam. I know. What is your favorite ink of all time? Oh, don't, no. <laughs> <laughs> I get asked this stuff all the time and I love asking it to I other people. I do like Yamabuto. So I really like Sutsuji too. Really? You like Sutsuji as much as Yamabuto? Yeah. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, the Sutsuji is not nearly as popular. I started using Daimine Syrah and Daimine Marine. One. Marine. I got that here in these notes. It's good stuff. This had Diatrementis Magenta Violet, which now we're calling Purple Violet. Okay. This had Daimine Autumn Oak in it. This had Chiku Rin, I okay. believe. Okay. I think I put Kanpeki in here. I'm not sure. Okay. This one has a bit of shimmer in it. Ooh, a little sparkliness. I don't remember which one, but it's been in there a while. Oh my gosh, Rachel. Here, I'll try to figure it out. You keep, you keep going. I'm trying to figure out what this is. Um. Oh, this is great, Rachel. I don't remember. This might be Hope Pink, or maybe it's also Suit Suji. I don't know. This one I know is Monteverde Ruby, because I've been writing with this, which is a really nice red. If you want like a good true red, I like the Monteverde Ruby. And that is my collection of things. Oh boy. There you go. Shimmer. Is that like a Nemesine? Uh... No, it's one of the diamines. Is it? Yeah. Okay. I don't remember. I can't tell what that it's is. It's been a while. <laughs> it's pretty crusty though. So I know what you're doing soon. Yes. You're love demonstrating it. your love for me. I am. I'm happy to do it. <laughs> Doing it gets something you more, I enjoy. Look, it gets you more experience and practice. Oh, so yeah, because I definitely need that, <laughs> right? <laughs> so then you can educate people. That's what you do. Yeah, sure can. But anyway, thanks for... <laughs> <laughs> this is, I have not this had is really digress for Brian. <laughs> I'm like, okay, there's 10 minutes, there's 10 minutes. All right, this is my whole evening today. Oh, here's a knot case you can't get in this color. Yeah, th this looks like my whole collection Rachel, is like colors you can't. You're killing us. You're I know. Killing us. Love it. Um, I would like to see your guys's collections of things. Your guys's? Yeah. Or gals's. I'm not gonna say y'all. I'm not that deep south. Y'all's guys's. Y'all's guys's. I'd love to see your your people's. <laughs> <laughs> your, your your people's. Your you, people's republic. You pen, out there. Uh, I would love to see your collections of things. If you have intentionally or unintentionally started a collection, I'd love to see your pictures. Indeed. Or talk about it on YouTube in the comments. Yes, because we'll that is there. what you do on YouTube. Indeed. <laughs> Thanks for joining us for 007. Right on.